Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome friendship bracelets cord style um, fitness tracker holders. So I made this pink one a couple days ago um, and today I'm going to be making a gray one. So what you're going to need is about 66 inches of cord um, of the color that you want to be shown and this might vary um, based on wrist size. This is based on my wrist and I have a pretty small wrist. So if you have a bigger wrist, you might want to extend that so you have enough space. And then you're going to need about 22 inches of the inner cord, which is not going to be seen much. Um, you're going to need some scissors, some little rainbow loom elastics or any other type of elastic, um, and then um, a rainbow loom little clasp, and then a needle and thread. So you're going to start out by folding the inner cord in half and um, putting it through the clasp and then you're going to start making square knots um, all down the front end and then I'll show you how to make it um, in this clip but you can always YouTube it there's a lot of great tutorials um, so it's like the zipper knot um, and you just go back and forth alternating and so for me it took about 22 stitches or so to get to the middle section at this point um, once I have that finished, I'm going to take the tracker bit and place underneath, tie the white cords around it just to hold it in place, um, and then while that's there, I'm going to take the gray cording and make two square knots going backwards back up the bracelet um, around the USB portion to create kind of a little pocket for it. So you can see here, that's exactly what I'm doing, and then once that's done, then I kind of loosen up one of the um, stitches about two rungs above the top of the USB and then I'm going to thread the gray cording through that. Um, so you'll see me do it in just a second here. Um, and you kind of have to loosen it and maybe you might want to use like scissors or like a pointy thing to help push it through because it'll be pretty tight of a squeeze. So you're going to go up, around, and then back under through, um, if you can see that right here. And I'll insert some pictures maybe to show better what it looks like. Um, and then you're going to take those two ends and you're going to put them underneath those two square knot loops that you just made to hold the USB to, again, make a little pocket for the USB that like won't close. Then you're going to take the gray and um, make a square knot around the entire tracker. So this is going to create these two little bands that will help hold it in place. Um, and it looks like a little like nice design um, on the top of the band. Um, and this works well because I don't have an actual Fitbit. I have just a um, off-brand one. And so the screen doesn't take up the whole thing. So I'm not covering up any of the screen. I'm just covering up a little bit of black. Um, just like design part. Um, and then we're going to thread a rainbow loom elastic band through that in the back just so that you have something in the back to hold it as well. That's a little bit stretchy. Um, then you're going to make some twists between the white and the gray like this. And then you're going to make another square knot at the bottom. And um, don't forget to put the rainbow loom elastic band through it, which you can see here I forgot. And so then I'm going to undo it and thread it through now. Um, and so it's a little tricky to get the square knot around the entire thing. So I was really like studying the past one I did to see exactly how my strings went. Um, I had to put one like underneath the twisted band um, just to try to get it to like lay flat and um, not collapse on itself. But we're going to stitch it later to help also keep that in place. So you see here, I untwisted the elastic band and then I threaded it through to make kind of a back brace for the um, little USB fob part. Sorry for going off shot right here. I think I was trying to fiddle with the square knot. Um, but yeah, once you get it, then um, it's pretty easy going because then you just um, continue with the square knots all the way down um, the white cord, um, probably another 22 or so, 
and then at the base, um, you're basically going to tuck those white parts back into the thing, um, into the band, and then you're going to wrap the gray ones, tuck those in, cut the ends, and then you can seal it with some glue, um, and then you want to sew it. Like you see, I'm sewing them here before I snip off the end so that it doesn't unravel. And again, you're going to want to glue the base of that so it also st sticks in place. Um, I used crazy glue for the first one, but it ended up being a little scratchy. Um, so I think hot glue or another type of glue, like a tacky um, fabric glue, might work better. Um, and then you see here, I'm just tightening up all of those. Um, square knots around the band um, using needle and thread. And it's a little tricky to get the needle and thread through the leather cording, so I use some pliers and my table to help push it through. Um, and so this is going to just really help it keep its shape so that when you take out the USB to charge it, um, you can put it back in pretty easily. So you can see here I took out the USB and um, it's pretty easy to get back in. You just slide in the USB. Um, wrap the bottom and side bars around and then you loop the top ones. And here's what it looks like. Um, and then you have full access to your screen. And it's a nice um, friendship bracelet looking natural type bracelet that's not as formal as the rubber bands. And you can customize it, you can add charms, do whatever color you want.